Hey guys, today we're taking a look at the primary arms Aimpoint M3 clone. A few initial impressions of it, I'm very happy with it. When I took it out of the box I was impressed by the quality of it for the price. It's currently retailing for $69 and that comes with a low mount. I opted for the high cantilever mount uh, for my particular gun for the SIG. Uh, if I would have went with the low mount, it would uh, it co-witness, but I really don't want it to co-witness. I want it to clear over the top of the sights. Uh, and the high cantilever mount helps with that. I want to be changing this, uh, getting some flip up uh, backup emergency sights and taking off the original sights. So I wanted the high cantilever mount to clear over the top of those. I'm not too much of a fan of co-witnessing, uh, but that's besides the point. Back to the red dot. It's got seven levels of adjustment, but I find in uh, bright daylight, you're pretty much going to stay on the highest setting. Uh, if I bring in my home defense shotgun here, just one second. See, I got a Tasco Pro Point on it, which is another cheap red dot. Uh, and I actually do find the Tasco Pro Point. Um, has an easier to see dot during the day. The dot is more defined. It's crisper. Not to say that the primary arms is bad. It's perfectly fine for what it is. But the Tasco is easier to see under daylight, bright daylight. Which the Tasco is also another good option. Uh, but I like the primary arms uh, Aimpoint clone obviously for the looks. You get all the looks of the real thing without the price of it. This is a range gun for me. Uh, I never intend to use this for home defense. I have my pistol, my shotgun, various other weapons. Uh, this is pretty much a range gun for me. So I have no problems putting a lower quality red dot on it. Not to say that there's anything wrong with a lower quality red dot. If I was going to war, would I want the real thing? Sure I would. Uh, but this is, this is perfectly fine. It, it hasn't given me any issues. And it's held up well. I have a few thousand rounds through this gun with the red dot mounted. It's held zero the whole time. It's been extremely accurate. Uh, it has a claimed battery life of 200 plus hours. And I haven't had to change the battery yet. Uh, it comes with four batteries. Let me show you the packaging here. I kept, kept the packaging. It comes with four batteries. Uh, two in the gun and then another two replacement batteries. It came with a cleaning cloth as well, uh, as well as the proper uh, wrench to tighten down your mount. Nice packaging by the way. It was extremely well packaged. Came in a nice nondescript box. It's another bonus for it. But yeah, like I said, this is currently retailing for $69. It was an additional $10 with the high cantilever mount. Uh, plus shipping, so I, I stayed. It stayed under a hundred dollars, even buying the uh, the extra optional mount. Very happy with it. Comes with the flip down caps. Uh, they're not as nice as like the Butler Creek caps or anything. They're obviously just knockoffs as well, but uh, they've they function fine. They haven't fell apart yet. Uh, it's parallax free. Waterproof and shockproof. It's not going to be as tough as the real thing, obviously. Nobody expects it to be, but uh, I've bumped it around. It's got some nicks and some scratches here. I've had it shot in the rain with it. I um, haven't had any problems uh, with its waterproof nature. Would I want to submerge this? No. But I don't really go swimming with my guns. I'm sure if I, if I were to drop this in a puddle or something like that, it'd be fine. I've shot in pretty hard rain with it and I haven't had any issues. Let's talk about the mount. Uh, the mount is a pretty decent quality. It hasn't hasn't slipped or moved on me at all. I tightened it down once and it's remained tight. It hasn't loosened up at all. Uh, that's another bonus for a ten dollar mount. You can't really complain. I mean the the finish on it and stuff is uneven, but it's ten bucks, man. You know, like what can you say? It has a 4, uh, four MOA dot on it, uh, which is fine for me. Uh, you are covering a decent percentage of your target, depending on the range you're shooting at. Uh, but I've, I've found it to be very usable. 
you can't really go wrong with this. I mean, you get a lot of the aesthetic uh, value of the real thing with a usable red dot. It's nowhere near as nice as an actual aim point, but for what it is, man, I, you can't really complain. If you have a range gun and you just want to you want to throw a, a red dot on it, you can't really go wrong with this. I'll show some targets to show uh, the accuracy that I've had with it. I'm not the best shot in the world, but I do I do pretty well, and my six pretty accurate. So I'll show those after uh, this portion of the video. I'll also do some macro shots really quick. But yeah, if you if you got less than a hundred bucks to spend on a red dot. You could do a lot worse than picking up the primary arms, Aimpoint M3 clone. And they have other uh, various clones too on their site, you want to check them out. I believe that's primaryarms.com. If not, I'll annotate it. Here are some of the targets I shot with the primary arms Aimpoint M3 clone. These are at 25 yards with. PMC runs 55 grain out of my SIG 5.56 and this group which is very nice was 25 yards with 62 grain uh, Black Hills it's a really nice group all those cover overs were from sight in you can see one in the nine ring there which kind of screwed things up but really happy with that. That's a lot of rounds through there and it's a, it's a pretty tight group. But yeah, not much to complain about. It's pretty accurate. Uh, here's a shot of it. Uh, trying to give you an idea of what the actual dot looks like. That's on the highest setting. Okay guys, here's the macro shots. See the dot there? Looks a little bit weird with the macro lens, but you get the idea. Overall, pretty high quality. Get a look at the mount. Alright, guys, that's it. Later.